Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we ask for a time that is really a time that is close to you. A time that may be with others, but in that togetherness, we find our, our place in your kingdom together. Lord, help us to see that trying to go about our faith on our own, trying to, to learn these lessons all by ourselves, just doesn't work. We need the people that you bless our lives with to make us accountable for our actions and our inactions. So Lord, we pray for inspiration, your Holy Spirit's guidance, and that togetherness that comes in your Holy Spirit that is like nothing else in life, that we may abide together in love and in service and in the joy we share as we work for your kingdom, as we serve your will. And Lord, we pray this day for, for those who in their best efforts are out there doing amazing works. Sometimes it's as simple as just being present for people that have no one to be there for them. Lord, teach us to seek out those who are lonely, who are isolated, who are caught up in their fear or are unable to, to act. They are frozen in fear and doubts. Lord, help us to, to take our best abilities and, and to share your grace and goodness that life may grow in abundance and that our fellowship may, may provide a, a place and a sanctuary for praise as we go about the work of your kingdom and the sharing the good news that is in Jesus Christ. Lord, forgive us when we falter. Forgive us when we forget one another and help us to find one another in faith. Lord, this in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in God's word, we turn to the letter to the Galatians chapter 3 at verse 23. And it reads, Before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. What were the people of God doing all those years? The, 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 the hundreds, the, the, the thousands of years that they were following, looking for God, following the, the pil pillars of fire, following uh, the Lord in the tabernacle, following to the temple, following the kings that were established, following the law in it all. Paul illustrates this as being a prisoner under the law, custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come was revealed. It is a state to be in, to be made ready to do God's will, to be engaged, to, to, to be in Jesus Christ. But for, for God's people, for the people of the world, there is a time where we must wait until the Lord commands us to work. And he, he did that with the people Israel. He did that with that nation that is meant to be a witness for all of us of what it means to grow in faith and to follow God, but also to wrestle with God and to have these struggles with what we believe to bring those struggles together in a witness before the world. And let's remember that these people were situated. God placed them in, in the midst of, of all the people crisscrossing through the world as they traveled and as they went about everywhere. That fertile crescent where, where the people of Israel were planted in their promised land. It wasn't a land for them just to, to hold for themselves, but it was to, to, for them to be present and available to explain who God really is and and we each one of us have that call each denomination out there has that call each each entity that calls itself church each institution that is gathered in christ jesus name and proclaim as, a, as lord we have that same responsibility that now that the faith is revealed to share it as good news now that the faith is 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 fully given in christ jesus to live that grace out in joy and and to engage with it in service and in the love we share and show in in, in christ jesus name and may god bless you in that that you may serve god well and that you may rejoice in the praise your life offers god bless you